Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new, I'm Annie from Hooks and Healers and today we are going to be having some fun. We're gonna be working through quite a few crochet things that I wanna get done today and I figured I'd take you guys along with me. So I have my little list here of everything that I need to do. So first off, I wanna wind some yarn today because if I don't do it with you guys, I will not do it. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of winding yarn. <laughs> And then next off, I have a little mini yarn haul for you guys because I had to get some Joann's today. Um, I just placed a curbside order, so we're gonna get that done. And then next, I'm gonna be making a pumpkin pie pillow. If you saw my fall crochet patterns video, you probably saw this pattern and I mentioned how I needed to make it. And I figured this video would be the perfect time, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me to do that. And another thing I also wanna do today is update you guys on the progress of my cardigan that I'm making so that'll probably be one of the first things we do actually I'm a little bit out of order so you'll have to forgive me for that but yeah this is just gonna be a super cozy little fall vlog I'm really excited because I've never filmed a video like this and so hopefully it goes well I feel like this could be really fun we're just gonna have to kind of see what happens and I'm gonna take you throughout my day so I hope you have fun with me here today whether you're just working on a crochet project or just hanging out and relaxing. I hope this video finds you well and you enjoy it. So let's get started. So one of my favorite ways to start the day, whether I'm crocheting or getting some work in, is to turn on these fall ambiance videos. You can just find these on YouTube by searching fall ambiance, but they're just super cozy and nice to have on in the background. So I've got that going and we're going to get started winding some yarn and guys, I don't know what it is. I am not a girl that likes to wind yarn. You know, it's just not my thing. And I think it's because I'm probably doing it wrong or I'm really bad at it. It's probably one of those. So you guys are gonna have to critique me in this video and let me know if I'm doing something wrong. When it's not getting tangled, it's great, but it just always gets tangled. And you know, when you buy hand dyed yarn, you have to wind it, otherwise you can't use it. So let's go ahead and do that first. So when I wind yarn, I just use a chair like this because I do not own a Swift, unfortunately. And this is what I'm winding today. I want to do at least one skein, hopefully two. Um, this is the Sorella Enchanted from the Taylor Swift collection because if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a Swifty. You guys, when I tell you I'm bad at this, like I really mean it. I already think I might have messed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna start getting this prepped. But in the meantime, I have a question for you guys. <laughs> this is drip coffee from Starbucks. And I'm wondering if I'm the only one, but I feel like this is way more caffeinated than like an average cup of coffee that I'd make at home. Like this is just the dark roast. You guys, like I am so jittery right now, it's insane. I mean, I'm gonna keep drinking it because I love coffee. But it is weird. I feel like every time I drink just drip coffee from Starbucks, I feel like way more caffeinated than just my regular cup of coffee at home. So I don't know, but cheers to that. Let's wind some yarn. I like to save all these little scraps to use them to stuff things later on. This is my little collection I have of scrap yarn for future little plushy projects. This is the yarn winder that I use. The reason why I use it is because it's like $17 on Amazon, if I'm being honest. So I think it works kind of well. I have noticed that this thing will kind of slip a lot. That might be my fault, I don't know. I think it's probably because I'm holding the yarn too tight while I'm working with it. But if you're curious, I have this linked on my Amazon storefront um, if you wanna buy it. And I keep that linked in my description, so. For some reason, like it keeps on winding right around here. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. That's not bad. That's 
So I got one of the cakes wound up and honestly, I just get so tired from this. Like my arm literally gets sore or maybe I'm dramatic, I don't know. But so I did one, so we're gonna call it good for now. I might do some more later, but the dogs are whining, the healers of Hooks and Healers. So I figured we could take them to the park really quick and help them get some energy out. I give my cake winding skills maybe like a six out of 10 for this one. So we did it, it'll suffice. It's good enough, it's fine, right? So I'm gonna change because in Southern California, you need like two outfits a day, one for the morning when it's cold and then another one for the second half of the day when it is burning hot. Let's go change and go to the park. Back home from the park, the dogs are nice and sleepy, and I have my Joann's order. I just got a curbside order, and I figured I'd show you what I got. This is kind of like a mini haul, if you will, but emphasis on mini because it's literally only three skeins of yarn. Um, so this is for the project that I'm working on today with you guys, which is the pumpkin pie pillow from last week's video. I think I told you guys about that already. Um, but first, so this is just the Bernat uh, baby blanket yarn. This is the color vanilla. So yeah, that's the first one. I hate how it does this. The perfectionist in me is just not a fan of that. Okay, there we go. And then the second color is sand. Sorry for the bag noise. The second color is Bernat baby blanket in the color sand. This is for the pie crust of the pillow. The white is for the little whipped cream. And then the most beautiful color of them all is the, what is this? This is terracotta and this is also a Bernat baby blanket. So I'm super excited to work on this. I don't use this yarn very often, but when I do, I'm just reminded of how soft it is. And this is just gonna be the best pillow ever. So I'll keep the pattern linked in the description, the one that I'm using, it's from Etsy. Um, so if you're interested, you can purchase it there. I think that the creator's name is Eat Pray Crochet or something like that. So that was my mini haul. It was very mini, but I try to only purchase yarn when I know I'm gonna use it. I don't like to have a ton of yarn just sitting around my house, I don't know. Um, Granted, I still have a lot, so. So I figured while I'm sitting here, I would update you guys on my Wisteria cardigan that I'm working on. This is the pattern that I've been designing that is currently in testing, and I am making my third one. And I'm using the Sorella yarn from her Eras Tour collection, or her Taylor Swift Eras collection. And it's just so beautiful. So this is one of the front panels. I made a few adjustments just since I'm using DK weight here. Um, like I did a couple extra rows to make the stripes a little bit thicker on this one. So I have the two front panels done like this. And then I also have the back panel finished. I got my hook stuck in it, there we go. So I have the back panel done as well. I made this one a little bit shorter than the pattern calls for, just because I wanted something more cropped. And to be honest, this is like over $200 worth of yarn. So I, I kind of had to do it cropped in order to, you know, not run out. Um, and honestly, I was really intimidated to make this project. Just obviously it's like the pressure's on when you spend that much money on yarn. Um, and it's really nice yarn and I want it to be perfect and beautiful. So that's just really scary. <laughs> Things got kind of interesting when I started making the sleeve. So this is my normal sleeve, right? And this is the second sleeve that I made. And when I finished this sleeve, I was like, I'm not gonna have enough of this purple yarn. This color is called um, Speak Now. And I was like, I am not gonna have enough of the Speak Now yarn. 
And so I was sweating, freaking out, like I'm done. Like this whole $260 cardigan is done. Like I'm not gonna be able to do this. And then, so I just had to start this other sleeve and it's totally fine. Like I was just being dramatic per usual. You might start to pick up on that with time. But uh, this one, I actually did five rows instead of six. This has six rows of the purple and this is five. And that was a good call because when I tell you I was playing yarn chicken, you guys look at this. This is how much yarn I had left when I finished this. Thank goodness I don't need to use that purple color anymore, but I cut it so close with this. Like, this is actually insane. Like, usually I never win yarn chicken, but the fact that I won with this much left over, this might be like a new record for me. Like, I'm actually very pleased with myself. But I feel like you can't really tell the size difference. Obviously, I've been working a little bit more on top of this one but the size difference in the stripes doesn't seem too noticeable i think sorry about all the dog hair that's kind of a thing around here you've seen the dogs you know how it is if you have dogs i feel like it's not that noticeable especially when they're gonna be on opposite sides of my body like as sleeves i think it's gonna be totally fine so <sighs> yeah it's just a good lesson, you know? Sometimes you worry so much about something and it ends up being totally fine. And so I try, I learn a lot from crocheting and that's something I try to take into my personal life is sometimes you just get so caught up in the little thing and then it doesn't even really matter. And it's, it's just part of life, you know? It all works out in the end. And this cardigan is a testament to that. So I'm really excited to finish that. That yarn we were winding earlier is, um, for me to use on this project, obviously. So I just have to finish up the sleeves and then I'm gonna do the ribbing and I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I normally do. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. This is my first like hand dyed yarn um, cardigan that I've made and it's a lot of pressure, but I'm happy with how it's turning out. Like this yarn, I'm sure you can see it here. It's just like so beautiful, dog hair. Like, I love the texture of this. This is just a half double crochet in the back loop only stitch. Lots of dog hair. And per usual, I just have all my ends unwoven because I just don't get excited weaving in the ends. And then I wait until the last minute and I regret it every time. But you know, you gotta have your fun. So that's what I'm doing. Just look at how gorgeous this is. It's like, the most beautiful yarn it has like these like shades of like lilac and pink and like a darker purple and a more like rosy purpley pink and i'm just so excited to wear this it's gonna be so cute and the fact that it's taylor swift themed is just if you know me you know if you watch my instagram reels i'm sure you've picked up on the fact that like almost all of the audio is taylor swift so it's just, it's just something that I enjoy. I very much am a Swifty, if you will. I actually ordered her merch, like one of those um, Speak Now cardigans, and it's supposed to be delivered today, actually. So if it is, I will show it to you. So it's me from the next day, and I'm just popping in to show you this because I told you I would. So this is the Speak Now cardigan. It is so soft. I'm really glad that I got the size small, like small, small, because it's pretty big. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> and it says like, speak now Taylor's version down here. So I love it. And it's perfect timing because she just announced her 1989 uh, vault tracks. So, but yeah, I'm really excited to wear this this fall. Like this is so cozy and just, perfect like and look at the little stars isn't that cute anyway we will go back to the current day now i just had to pop in to show you guys but i think it's funny because i ordered that cardigan i want to say in june or something like whenever or no july when speak now came out and by the time it gets here it's gonna be like 1989 taylor's version era so that's okay you can never have enough cardigans if you can tell i'm really into cardigans because I've made like two this week and I ordered one. I actually have another one coming from ThreadUp. So I'm just gonna stop talking now. <laughs> I'm just exposing myself at this point. So that's the cardigan update. 
I'm sure you'll see the finished results on my Instagram because I post reels way too much, honestly. <laughs> Let's work on this pumpkin pie pillow. I think I'm gonna find something to watch and just kind of have fun with this and enjoy a little crochet moment today. So let's do that. I'm gonna have a snack. These are really good. If you don't like salt and vinegar chips, are you okay? Okay, so this pattern calls for a, what is it, an eight millimeter hook? Yeah, so the pattern is worked up with an eight millimeter hook and I don't know what it is, you guys. I like don't own any large crochet hooks. Um, I managed to find one and I'm pretty sure I bought this like five years ago, but I do have an eight millimeter crochet hook. So I literally just spent the past five minutes like digging around in my office for one. So that is good because Clearly, I need to get some larger crochet hooks. I don't know why, but for a long time, like um, bulky yarn just like gave me the ick. So, so um, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's super nice, especially this one I really like. But yeah, normally I just use like a weight for yarn. We are gonna watch something. If you like to crochet and watch TV, you probably know the struggle of trying to find something that is easy to watch while you're also looking down at crochet or something. And for that reason, I made an Instagram reel and basically I had all my like crochet friends comment on their shows that they love to watch um, while they're crocheting. So I'll link that in the description if you're curious because there's like lots of good show recommendations in there. I give some of mine as well. But one of the new things I've been watching recently that is very entertaining is reality TV. Normally I'm not a reality TV girl, but I've been watching Vanderpump Rules and it's definitely a little bit cringy, but it is a great show to watch while you're crocheting because you don't really have to focus on anything because it's reality TV. That's a good one. A lot of people also really love to watch Suits, which I have been enjoying. But yeah, all sorts of good recommendations in there. Today, we are gonna go with Vanderpump Rules. So let's go ahead and start working on this pumpkin pie pillow. So we are starting with the whipped cream that goes on top of the pumpkin pie. So this is the finished whipped cream. It's like a cute little flower, but whipped cream. So I think now we're gonna work on the pumpkin pie filling portion. I love doing that. If you're crocheting while you're watching this vlog, let me know what you're working on because I always think it's super fun to know what you guys are making and I love getting different ideas for crochet stuff because you can never have too many crochet projects. I'm a firm believer in that. Like usually I have like three or four projects going at once because the way my brain works, I just like to hop around to different projects sometimes, so. You can never have too much, but I'm starting the first round of the pumpkin pie. Even if you're knitting too, I would love to know what you're working on because knitting is something that really intrigues me and hopefully one day I will learn how to knit. I have yet to really learn how to knit. Um, I've used like those looms before, like from Michaels when I was a kid but that's about as far as my knitting knowledge goes. That might be a video in and of itself. <laughs> I do this every time. I always have too much faith in the magic ring when I'm using this type of yarn. <laughs> and it snapped. We gotta redo it. I don't need my pillow falling apart because I want this pumpkin pie pillow for years to come. We have a visitor. This is Bush. He's come to join us. He's very sleepy from all his frisbee catches earlier. Oh boy. He's the sweetest guy. 
This is my best friend right here, huh boy? I don't know if the feeling is mutual. I'm very intrigued by this color of yarn. <laughs> if you're curious, Bush is an Australian cattle dog and a border collie mix. So he has that classic cattle dog coloring with the little white mark on his head, but he's super fluffy and soft and so sweet and smart like a border collie. Australian cattle dogs are really smart too, but he's just, he's the best. He's four and he's our best friend, oh boy. It's been like 15 minutes and this is what we have so far. So it's working up a little slow. It's all right. Um, I snapped the yarn again because clearly I needed to practice using this blanket yarn a little bit more, but it's fine because I can just sew in the back. Like it wasn't gonna like ruin it or anything. So we are just chugging along. I think I'm gonna take a little break and eat some lunch. Apparently Bush is eating his foot for lunch, so each their own but Bush, should i have a smoothie for lunch or chicken tikka masala which one i don't think he cares so we're gonna go with <laughs> tikka masala because that sounds good if you don't know this the trader joe's chicken tikka masala from the frozen section is really good i'll show it to you guys so it's this this is the one it's really good. The butter chicken one is also super good, but this is what I eat for lunch a lot and I love it and it's super easy because I hate cooking, especially in the middle of the day. So if you don't have leftovers, this right here with our frozen naan bread, beautiful. It's perfect. Try it. Let me know what you think. All right, back to the grind. Lime LaCroix in hand. I'm about to start round five and there are, how many rounds are there of this? Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. So let's get to work. I think that if I make another one of these pillows, I'm probably going to use a single crochet stitch instead of a half double crochet because I just feel like it will look a little bit neater. I think that the half double crochet is still gonna be really cute. I don't know, I just, with this type of yarn, I prefer single crochet. This yarn is so thick, I'm just not used to using this. So I'm doing my best, but I'm really excited to see how this pillow is gonna turn out. Okay, the front is done. It looks really wavy, but the pattern says that that's okay. It's kind of supposed to look like that. And then when it gets stuffed, it will flatten out, but it's really cute so far. It's a pretty good size. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the little whipped cream on it now. So let's do that. I'm honestly feeling very tired. I feel like I've been working on this forever, but it's probably only been like an hour. Okay, look how cute the little whipped cream is. Oh my gosh. There we go. It's so cute. So now it's time to work on the pie crust. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So it's been a couple of hours, but I am happy to report that the main body of the pillow is done. So I have the front and then I have the back. And now we're just going to make the little edging that goes along the pillow and then we're gonna stuff it and I think we'll be done. So this has taken me quite a bit of time, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to take this long just because the yarn is so bulky. It's been a solid couple of hours. I wanna say like maybe four hours or something. So I'm gonna work on that. And then I'm gonna be very excited to just chill out the rest of the day, have this on the couch. Yeah, this is still a super fun pattern. And this is like so soft and amazing, but 
just holding this yarn, my fingers are like broken. So I will definitely be doing some hand stretches today because my hands are hurting after this. <laughs> I feel like this border is gonna go pretty quick because it's just two rounds of this and then we're done. And the best part is I get to just keep this pillow out on my couch until Thanksgiving because if you're anything like me, you decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. That is when it happens in my house and I know a lot of people do the same so that's gonna be a pretty good amount of time to get to have this pillow out. I've also been filming a reel of the process of me making this pillow while I'm filming the YouTube video, so that's probably added to some of the time that it's taken me. <laughs> so I'm starting to stuff our pumpkin pie. This is like the super fun part. Oh my gosh. I think it's gonna look really cute. But there is a lot of stuffing that needs to go in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's happening. Guys, my hands are like breaking from stuffing this. It's supposed to be stuffed really firmly and my hands are dying. <laughs> I think I just need to like smush it around so it's even. So far so good. I think I'm literally out of stuffing. Like I've, had, I've put so much in here. I am not kidding when I say these last two rounds of this project are like a workout like stuffing this pumpkin and then joining it as I'm going and all of that and just, it's so big. But I love how it's looking. It's seriously so cute. It's the crust. To like reshape it a little bit because I just like threw all the stuffing in here. But look at the crust, it's so cute. Okay, I don't know if you guys are ready. It's finished. I just finished the pumpkin pie pillow. Are you ready for it? <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. I know it was just about a week ago I said that I wanted to make this. I didn't think I would be making it so soon, but here we are. I mean, can't help myself. So this is adorable. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is a little bit darker on my pumpkin maybe. Like it's the exact same color yarn um, as the one that was used in the pattern too. It looks a little bit darker, but I don't care. I love it so much. I think it's perfect. I definitely have to kind of squish it around to get the, the stuffing to sit right. But I think it's so cute. And if you're interested in trying out this pattern, I definitely recommend it. It is so cute. It's probably not the best pattern to make for markets and stuff like that because this took me a long time and it definitely took a toll on my hands, but that's just me. This is something that I'm gonna have out like every fall though. This is so cute, you guys. I'm so excited to just have this sitting out on my couch. You might be able to tell Evie behind me is a big pillow girl. Oh, Evie. She loves her pillows, and I have a feeling she's really gonna like this one. So we're gonna have to see what Evie thinks of it. She's checking it out. Oh, oh, no, we don't eat it. She's trying to eat it. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in here is kind of bad right now, but isn't it just adorable? Evie, what do you think? Do you like your pillow? Pumpkin pie pillow? I think we have to teach little Evie that this isn't a toy, but I'm sure she's gonna love it pretty soon. <laughs> and I think that concludes our vlog. I had so much fun making this video, so thank you guys for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed it as well, but I'm always open to your feedback. Definitely let me know what you thought about this video because this is the first vlog style YouTube video I've ever made. So I'm definitely curious what you guys think. If you did enjoy this video and the other content that I make here, I would really appreciate if you gave this video a like and subscribe to the channel because it really means so much to me and I just appreciate you guys being here a whole lot. Thanks for sticking around and spending the day with me and until next Monday, happy crocheting guys. Bye.